Hey guys, welcome to another video and I hope everybody is doing great and 2019 has had a good start for you. If it has not, don't worry, the whole year is yet to come and I'm sure everything will be great. But that is not the topic of today's video. In today's video, we are going to install Havoc OS 2.0 that is based on Android 9 Pie on the OnePlus 5 and we will see what the installation process is and how does the ROM you know stack up in the initial impressions and stuff like that. So this is not a full full review but this is just a quick install process in the first look as is the case of install and preview series on this particular channel. So today's video is about that but before we begin if you haven't already please subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get flashing. All right, guys, so looks like it's time to flash another beautiful ROM for this boy cheeseburger that is the OnePlus 5. And what are we doing today? We are flashing Havoc OS 2.0, which is based on Android 9 Pie. Now, this is one of the latest build dated 30th of December 2018. And yes, this video is a part of the installed and preview series in which I show you how to install a particular ROM and a quick first look at its features. And should I be reviewing it as a full review or not? For now, I will tell you the basics. Well, make sure your phone has more than 50% battery, back up all the information. Of course, you need an unlocked bootloader, you need to have a TWRP recovery. So make sure all of that is done and the ROM, Google Apps and the firmware and other files like in case you need to use Magisk, all these files have to be copied to your phone's internal memory. The reason I tell you guys to back up your data is because we will be wiping everything. So well. A clean install always gives you the best stability when it comes to a stable or a custom ROM, beat any software. So with all that taken care of, let's quickly begin with the installation process so that we can quickly get into the boot screen and enjoy the boot animation and then the ROM itself. I'm very excited. Let's get going. So the first thing we will do is we'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. We won't be wiping internal storage. Swipe to wipe. Once that is done, go to install. First thing to flash is the firmware, of course. Links for all the files are mentioned in the description and do let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. Go to install flash Havoc OS 2.0. Now again, this is a ROM flash, so it might take two to five minutes. So please be patient while the flash happens. Meanwhile, there is a there are a couple of questions that I have for you guys. If you're using the OnePlus 5 or the 5T, let me know what ROM are you using because OnePlus devices seem to have one of the best custom ROMs. And that is what makes these phones really, really interesting. Okay, the ROM has been flashed. So let's go to the home screen, install and open Google Apps. Now again, Google Apps does take some time. The package that I'm using is ARM64 Nano because I like to choose which apps do I want to install. And at the same time, Nano has all the essential Google items that are needed. So let's wait for this to be flashed and then we will reboot and see if there is anything new that have OS team have done to this particular ROM because I have been missing from the custom ROM scenario for a month or so while I did not upload on this channel but guess what we are back and 2019 is going to be awesome so let's wait for this to flash and then we will boot into the ROM all right looks like everything has been flashed so let's go to reboot system and do not install wait for the first boot to complete it will not take more than two to three minutes because it's a pretty powerful phone and uh, i'm excited to look at the boot animation as to how good it is or is it any difference from what it was earlier all right so that's our first look at the new havoc os boot animation looks pretty pretty minimalistic and cool so i kind of like it let me know in the comment section and if you like it, well, give this video a like. Let's wait for the phone to boot up and then we will quickly have a look at Havoc OS. All right, so I have a force close. Android setup isn't responding. Not a big deal, but not a fan of facing force closures that, uh, you know, that raises questions on the stability of the ROM. Not that I'm saying this is a bad ROM at 
all they would have worked really really hard to get this rom to work the way it is working on the oneplus fire any device for that matter nonetheless we will not judge this rom yet let's go to the main screen and let's look at the features because havoc os is known to have a lot of custom rom features just like cr droid android or resurrection remix uh, that reminds me i should i think i should try um resurrection remix on this particular phone i've not checked if, if if a latest build is available but that's a beautiful wallpaper is what i would say and uh, that's very very few apps and we have a pixel launcher over here and the best part is i can see that google camera is already installed so that is that and uh, yeah that's a good thing does the portrait mode work got it give it a try okay not really so gcam is installed but there might be some fixes that might be needed nonetheless that is not what you here what we are here for we are here for havoc os first things first let's swipe from the top um it's a good rom but the initial impressions i don't know why but okay yeah it's very very fluid right now there you go so let's quickly go to settings and again it's a little customized. The icons are a little different compared to what they are in stock Android Pie. If we go to system, and go to system updates, you have OTA updates available as well. That is a very, very good thing. For Android version nine is what they're saying. That's the Easter egg for Android nine. Other options we have when it comes to customization because everything else is pretty, pretty similar. This is, you're just another Android 9 ROM. Now, I don't see a lot of customization options over here, but we do have Havoc settings. Now, that is what the magic of custom ROMs in. So, you have status bar, quick settings, interface, ambient display, screen, buttons, navigation bars, gestures, lock screens, notifications, animations, system, device, <laughs> IME settings, battery saving, and miscellaneous. So, Yet again, you know, just like any other custom ROM, there are a lot of things that can be customized in this particular ROM as well. So, you know, one by one, maybe once I use this ROM, I should be able to know what exactly works and what doesn't work. But for now, what I can say is from the first impressions, at least, well, it looks very, very fluid and it definitely looks like something that can be used daily. Now, another good thing that I'm noticing over here with this particular ROM is that they have the OnePlus camera application pre-installed. So the front portrait is there in the OnePlus camera at least. So whether Gcam works or not, at least the OnePlus camera and the background blur is there as well. So that is a good thing. So pre-installed OnePlus cam. So this rom gets brownie points for that apart from that if you look at the menu it is very very minimalistic i've installed the nano version so that doesn't give me a lot of bloatware in fact it doesn't give me any bloatware at all i can choose what to install and what not to install from the play store so this looks like a good rom let me know in the comment section and give this video a like if you want this rom reviewed but for now this is kalash signing off and before i sign off let me tell you that there are a lot of roms and a lot of videos coming for this phone at the same time i asked you guys a question in the last video i'll put it as a poll on the community youtube community let me know if you guys want to see poco f1 on this particular channel for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye